गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नाइन हाइड्रोजन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट विद पोजिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन हाइड्रोजन इज द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन इज वन एस वन ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ओनली वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन इट्स वन एस शेल हाइड्रोजन हैज ड्यूएल बिहेवियर दैट इज इट रिजेंबल्स एल्कली मेटल्स एंड इट रिजेंबल्स हेलोजन्स बोथ वेन इट रिजेंबल्स विद एल्कली मेटल मीन्स इट कैन लाइक एल्कली मेटल इट कैन कंटेन वन वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इन इट्स वैलेंसी शेल एज हाइड्रोजन हैज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन वन एस वन लिथियम ऑल्सो हैज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन Inert core 2s1 means lithium also contain single electron in last outermost shell. Hence, it can lose one electron to form a monopositive ion. Like alkali metal, hydrogen combines with electronegative elements to form oxides, halides, and sulfides. Now, how hydrogen resembles with halogens? Number one. both hydrogen and halogens require one electron to complete their octet as hydrogen already has one electron if it requires one more electron then it will give h negative ion same is with group 17 element fluorine and chlorine their outermost shell shows they require only one electron in p sub shell hence hydrogen can gain one electron to give uni negative ion number 2 like halogens it forms a diatomic molecule and several covalent compounds though hydrogen shows some similarity with both alkali metals and halogens it differs from them on some grounds Al- unlike alkali metals hydrogen does not possess metallic characters on the other hand it possesses a high ionization enthalpy also it is less reactive than halogens so due to these reasons hydrogen cannot be placed with alkali metals that is with group 1 or group 7 in addition it was also shows that h positive ion cannot exist freely as they are extremely reactive what about isotopes of hydrogen this topic was also done in lower classes hydrogen has three isotopes number 1 protium deuterium and tritium the mass ratio has one ratio two ratio three the ionization enthalpy of hydrogen atom is very high hence it is very hard to remove it's only one electron that's why its tendency to exist as monoatomic form is rather very low instead hydrogen forms a covalent bond now what about the hydrides hydrogen that is h2 dihydrogen combines with the number of elements to form binary compounds called hydrides with formula mhx where m is element x is number of hydrogen atoms and the various elements which form hydrides are number 1 all main group elements except of noble gases number 2 all lanthanoid and uh, and actinoids number 3 transition metals and depending upon the physical and chemical properties the hydrides have been divided into the following three categories these categories are number 1 ionic or salt like or saline hydrides number 2 metallic or interstitial hydrides number 3 covalent hydrides first of all start with ionic hydrides these are formed by those metal whose electronegativity values are lower than that of hydrogen all elements of group 1 and group 2 on heating at high temperature form ionic hydrides now what are properties of ionic hydrides number 1 these are formed 
by transfer of electrons from the metal to hydrogen atoms and thus contain hydride ion number 2 these are very crystalline so these are white crystalline solids and their crystal structure consist of ions third point alkali metal hydrides like lih nah kh rbh they have rock like structure their thermal stability decreases from lithium hydride to cesium hydride due to the reason that lattice energies of these hydrides decreases progressively as the size of metal cation increases from lithium positive to cesium positive next metallic hydrides are hydrogen deficient that is they do not hold the law of constant composition it has been established that in the hydrides of nickel palladium cerium and actinium hydrogen occupies the interstitial position in lattices allowing for allowing uh, allowing further absorption of hydrogen on these metals metals like palladium platinum etc have the capacity to accommodate a large volume of hydrogen therefore they are used for the storage of hydrogen and serve as a source of energy now properties of metallic or interstitial hydrides number 1 they are hard have a metallic luster conduct electricity and have magnetic properties number 2 the density of these hydrides is lower than that of metals from which they are formed since the crystal lattice expands due to involvement of dihydrogen third point these hydrides are of a non stoichiometric that is these hydrides uh, in these hydrides law of constant composition does not hold good the ratio of hydrogen atoms to the metal atoms in these hydrides is not fixed uses of metallic or interstitial hydrides due to interstitial hydride formation these metal adsorb large volume of hydrogen on their surface and this process is called occlusion the amount of hydrogen occluded depend upon the nature and physical state of the metal that is colloidal palladium then palladium then platinum then gold then nickel if red hot palladium is cooled in dihydrogen it adsorbs about 935 times 935 times its own volume of dihydrogen this may be used to separate dihydrogen or heavy hydrogen d2 from helium or other gases and this property has high potential for hydrogen storage and source of energy.